Kamala Harris took the stage at the BET Awards, passionately calling for the fight for freedom and equality against what she termed extremist opposition forces. She tackled critical issues like voting rights, reproductive rights, and gun violence with fervor and determination. The real H you? You know. So what's on your mind? Oh, Madam VP Harris, I'm worried about the election. Women's reproductive rights are on the line. Our Supreme Court is on the line. Our basic freedoms are being tested. Madam VP, I know you've been traveling across the country. What are you hearing? Yeah, girl, I'm out here in these streets. And let me tell you, you're right, Taraji. There is so much at stake in this moment. The majority of us believe in freedom and equality. But these extremists, as they say, they're not like us. No, they not. There's a full-on attack on our fundamental freedoms. The freedom to vote. Yep. The freedom to love who you love. The freedom to be safe from gun violence. The freedom for a woman to make decisions about her own body, not having her government tell her what to do. However, while personal freedom is cherished, some see Harris's approach as highly divisive. The public often views policies on voting regulation, gun rights, and abortion as essential to maintaining social order and respecting state rights. Labeling opponents as extremists can come across as an attempt to marginalize those with differing opinions, overlooking legitimate concerns about societal impact, law, and order. Fundamental values, such as the sanctity of life and the importance of family structures, are crucial to many. Harris's comments on reproductive rights, in particular, are seen by some as undermining these values, despite her belief that such policies safeguard the integrity of life and family.